Hi everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how to plot discrete time signal in MATLAB. At first I will give you some basic theoretical information. As you can see, we will plotting today y n is equal to a to the power n discrete time signal where a less than 1 and a greater than 1. So as you can see, continuous versus continuous time signal, most signal in the real world are continuous time signal as the scale is infinitesimally fine. As you can see, this is how our continuous time signal look like and it is expressed using first bracket. And this kit time signal, some real world and many digital signal are this kit time as they are sampled. As you can see, we express this discrete time signal using our third bracket and this is how our discrete time signal look like. And if we plot our graph in MATLAB and this is how our discrete growth will look like and our continuous growth will look like. So let's go on our MATLAB. Here as you can see this is our MATLAB editor, plotting this problem y n is equal to a n we have to use first clc and clear all and close all okay as n is our number of sample i will take n is equal to minus Next time, sorry, minus 100 to positive 100. This line means we are taking sample in between minus 100 to positive 100. And A is less than 1. As I explained, the question, the question is, we will take two terms. A less than, less than 1 and A less a greater than 1. So, at first I am taking A less than 1. 1 okay that means i am taking 0 0.9 here okay and our y will be a exponential n this is how the dot and the so as you can see for power we need to put dot and hat symbol and then if we use figure 1 okay then stem it stem both in and our y we will have our desired graph. Let's run this. Okay, as you can see, this is our discrete time signal and it's exponentially decreasing. Okay, and let's go on our question. As you can see, if we take a less than 1 our our graph is exponentially decreasing as you can see and if we take 1.9 that means that means a greater than 1 then let's see what happened to our graph it is exponentially increasing okay and another question if we use here plot instead of steam we will have continuous time signal okay as you can see these are continuous time signal and if i use 0 0.9 here we will have our continuous time signal okay so to obtain our discrete time signal we have we must have to use stem 
okay as you can see these are uh, discrete time signal and this is how we can port our discrete time signal and continuous time signal and uh, especially exponentially discrete or continuous time signal thank you all for today assalamu